Today we're going to learn Section 2, Licensing Requirements for PHVs. If you haven't watched the first section yet, please watch it. Then you will have a better understanding. I will put the link in the description for your reference. Before moving into video, please subscribe and press the bell icon, then you will get a notification once I upload a new video. Now let's start the section two. This section gives you information on some of the licensing requirements and rules for private hire vehicles, PHVs. Even if you do not own a licensed vehicle, you should know about these requirements. Please go through the sections on next slides and watch the video to the end to make you realize important things. Licenses and licensed discs. Once a PHV has been licensed, the registered keeper is given a vehicle license and licensed discs will be fixed to the front and rear windscreens of the vehicle. The registered keeper also receives a leaflet which briefly describes the conditions of the license. Example of PHV license disc. Licenses and license discs. The license discs must not be damaged or changed in any way. You should not remove the discs, even if you are using the vehicle for private purposes. The license discs contain security features, which mean that the discs will be permanently damaged if you try to remove them. If the license discs fixed to a PHV are damaged, lost, or stolen, the vehicle owner should contact TFL immediately so that replacement discs can be issued. Please remember, you cannot use a vehicle for private hire purposes if the license discs are missing, have been badly damaged, or their appearance has been spoilt in any way. In some exceptional circumstances, the vehicle might be given an exemption, which means that the license discs do not have to be displayed. In these cases, you will receive an exemption notice, which you, the driver, must carry at all times when the vehicle is being used as a PHV. PHV licenses last for one year, and the vehicle must have another licensing inspection before a new license can be issued. Insurance Every PHV must have hire or reward insurance. We encourage you to carry details of the vehicle's valid hire or reward insurance policy whenever you are working, as well as evidence that you are insured to drive the vehicle under that policy. For example, if the vehicle is insured by your operator. You can carry the insurance details or display them within the vehicle and must make details of the insurance available to the police when you are asked for them. You must also provide insurance details to a passenger or member of the public if the vehicle you are driving is involved in a collision. The insurance policy must be valid when the vehicle is licensed and at all times when the vehicle is being used as a PHV. Collision damage, vehicles must be kept in good condition. If you own your PHV, you must tell TFL within 72 hours of any collision that affects the safety, performance, appearance, or comfort of the vehicle. The vehicle may need to be re-examined before it can continue to be used as a PHV. Information about vehicles. There may be circumstances where TFL has important information about the vehicle you are driving. For example, the manufacturer may have told TFL about a fault with the vehicle that means it needs to be returned to the manufacturer for repair. If you are the registered keeper of the vehicle TFL or the manufacturer, may write to you to explain what you need to do to get your vehicle fixed. You should always follow the instructions in the letter. A letter from TFL may also explain that the vehicle cannot be used for private hire purposes until it has been fixed. 
It is important that you read any letters you receive from TFL or the manufacturer carefully. Now we have come to the end of the section. Let's meet you again with the next video. Until then, have a good day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Thank for watching.